Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie and the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Come have a look, Tilda. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult. To say the least. Getting the hammer ups our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Would be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question: Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway. And the desert awaits. New weapons, new armor. They're changing.
What did Baird say? A small civil war? Not likely. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Alvo Bay, the light mass missile. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the cough once, alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all cough are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert pointers. You know, only one of us grew up and I've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You, my friend, missed your calling. We should be teaching science. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll do that. here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. All right, I know why we're here. But where are we going? An old rocket hangar to the east. And just a heads up, the nomads could use some help too. Then let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, man. You can't just say, let's do it and make the last few months disappear. No, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of 
closer to tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs <laughs> access. All right, Baird. Understood. and find an old rocket. <laughs> Haddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. We handle this.
That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Inside, help me. So, where do we go? Place look huge from the outside. It's got to have a mission control, or command center, or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Light files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. the other side of that glass. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hack. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Barry. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive. Semi-sentient. Don't work. Jack's got it. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus can stop, Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Paddock, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Boss, you're Vasgari. Did you have read those files? Nah, I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Vasgari with me growing up. Didn't want to see me different. Could have hidden half a city in here. It's massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it.
Now. Well, let's bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry? Is it, then? Oi! Back here! This thing's our way across. 